of the tape for this lightweight fight. All right, we are on the way here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Attempts the uppercut there, but it doesn't land. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Controlling the fight behind that jab. And they are exchanging leather early. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, with authority, the body. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good... Oh! Doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. And back to his feet. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Good right here. Beautiful combination. Oh man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. Great fight. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kinda let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. with that one. Oh, uppercut to the head. Huge kick to the leg. Oh, this could be a factor. That left eye starting to close up. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Push kick there to the body. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Final seconds of round one. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got to see the That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Let the bodies hit the floor. What a round. Multiple knockdowns. Amazing to think he didn't get him out of there, but he came pretty damn close. Oh, definitely let the bodies hit the floor. And it was one guy's body hit the floor over and over and over again. So he showed tremendous toughness. But for his opponent, he has to be seeing stars in his eyes because he understands with this type of performance, he puts Dana White on notice. He puts Sean Shelby on notice. He puts the fans on notice. Everybody's excited about him because they know we have an exciting knockout finisher right in the midst of our presence. All right, round two. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, that it allows him to put forth this type of output. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here on this redness on that right side. Good eyes to not take that shot. Just misses with that big right hand. Oh, he's got it again. Leg kicks 
all game. His mobility is compromised. Might get it back a little bit as the fight continues, but that's an obvious limp right now. Well, it's going to take ice on the calf, ice on the thigh when he gets to the corner to try and bring it back. But once you get dead leg, there's not much you can do. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Two minutes now to go in round two. Just missed with the left there. Lands to the body. start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna come out. Holy smokes! Well, that smile on his face is only gonna be surpassed by the zeros on the check. A huge knockout tonight. Gotta think some bonus money's coming his way. Bonus money is coming his way. When you knock somebody stiff like this, you expect a bonus check. What a phenomenal performance by this young man. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 42 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, five time. All right, so there he is, the man on yeah. tail of the tape for this lightweight fight. that has hosted some of the biggest fights in combat sports history, and we are back for more, ready to go with live action underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Nice one-two combination there. Oh, he's in trouble. That's how you finish your fight. He's in a lot of trouble now. Big power shot there. Over is over. He is landing punches to the head. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Unable to connect with the left. Oh, 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 I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get to the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 15 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Magnifico! Well, he's smiling ear to ear and hail of the tape for this welterweight fight. Nevada, we are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. That kick lands. Oh, beautiful hook. Straight punch, Houston. Lands a nice leg kick. Oh, my goodness, these boys are going at it. Huge left hand. Lands a good combination. Big right hand there. <laughs> oh! How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter. <laughs> Strong defense 
blocks here as the hook to the head is blocked. Heavy body kick lands. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. Well, he's connected on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. Caught that kick there. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. That left hook was nasty. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks. And I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to a hero. Well. I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is... Oh! Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away. And he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. All right, doing work with the jab. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he is fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Take a deep breath. Relax. You're okay. You got robbed that last round, but you're fine. You're still here right now. This next round, we're going to get... All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, round two. All right, next round is now on the way. I thought there was back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Block that kick to the body. Oh, and he caught the kick. Man, he's so deceptive as he lands these leg kicks. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he is taking. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to blow in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Nice block. Oh, he's... Oh! Yeah, he's hurt really bad. And forth we go. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this round. Yeah, both guys. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Combinations here. Caught the kick. Single color tie out. With authority, the body. Uppercut. Yeah, that punch was blocked. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. 
Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. And just inches of hurt him again. A bit. Oh. He's hurt bad. Oh, right hand land. There you go. Oh, is he opened up now? Yeah, he that oh, oh, oh. saved by the bell there. The round is over. He got knocked down just before you heard the horn. And of course, he's only got 60 seconds with which to recover. Not a lot of time to get his head back into this one. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Third round. Jab alerted his opponent. Oh, inside kick. Another one. They're so evenly matched, they're going to the attack. Oh, no! Outside leg kick. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing... He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. Blocks the shot. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, and he throws him with a left hand there. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Punch to the... Oh! Ninety seconds now to go in this one. Oh, that right eye's looking really swollen now. Quick jab. Under a minute now to go in this one. Up there, right on the bridge of the nose. We oh, heard him. Oh, beautiful combination. Oh, man. That's it. Oh, my goodness. Takes the judges out of it, gets the finish. What a performance. So, how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO? Prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrate. They should all be very proud. Let's go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Mr. Untouchable!
Or fill the tape for this lightweight scrap. And we are underway. Oh, nice switch kick. Oh, and so now lands it. DC, you know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Omulan chucks back to the side control now. He cut him. He cut him. So many ground strikes landed that eventually he got him cut. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. All right, so the cut is getting out of control. The corner doesn't seem to be in any great rush to throw in the towel, but you got to think we're going to get some referee involvement here soon. When we get to the stool, if we get to the stool, they're going to look at that cut and they're going to stop this fight because not anyone with a brain can look at that and know that this guy should not be in the fight anymore. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. He's brutalized him with the ground upon. This fight is close to being done. Back to his feet. Nice level change. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Oh, nice. Nice. the takedown, no problem. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is... Oh, oh so it up on him now. Shot a double leg. Oh, crowd really enjoyed that one. What goes up must come down. Man, I mean, what would, what would that do to me? I'd be out like half a year, bro. You'd be done, John. You would not be calling fights. You would not be working anymore. Your back would be out. But the people get mad when somebody wrestles too much, but they always enjoy slams like that. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. without issue. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this, and as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that, uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, trying to pass here, but the Kembe Matumbo style Block. against Denon. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, Milanchuk's able to transition back to side control now. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. 
start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slips through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. Home, you land Chuck's in half guard. The ground strikes starting to pile up. I need you to fight back. Pretty productive with the strikes here off his back. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Omulanch. All the ground and pound strikes like continue like to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape his very, very dangerous position. He's going to try to take him down. There you go. Oh, what goes up must come down as he slams him right on the canvas. Huge moment in the ring. It excites me to watch somebody land those types of technique. The impact of that slam takedown was felt at the desk and in the first couple rows. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Oh! He's hurt bad. You see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a... There it is again. Look at that. Oh, nice takedown. Yep. And now some separation. Final seconds of the round. We're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. This is going to be a bloody fight. I want you to... Third round underway. Lands a nice jab there. That was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedown, and it looked effortless. It did not look like he had to work hard to finish his takedown at all. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of this game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Great time on that double leg. Chuck's in half guard now. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by Omulanchuk. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He is now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. Three on bottom here. This is not a good place to You be. have got to free one arm. You cannot worry. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, another blow hits that cut. Referee might need to call on the doctor here soon. Lands an elbow there. Nice job by Omni Lynch. Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Omni Lynch is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Good work from the top here by Omulancha. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round of combat. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the fans came to see him knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. 
A double leg shot. On the lamp shot. Oh, and you can feel the reverberations here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the bat, John Papers went flying. It was amazing. Where's that working man camera? Yeah, we need that working man right now. <laughs> this table is a mess. <laughs> All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Obi-Wan Now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. GM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Fight behind a nice jab. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. Close to the body there. Oh, this place is going nuts. We got a brawl on our hands, folks. The fans are out of their seat. These guys are getting after it. <laughs> nice job defensively. Nice head kick. Oh, man, both of these guys can really take a shot. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do. Big power shot there. Slips. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, guys didn't jab enough. It was all power shots. Now you see guys well more educated with that jab in their front hand. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Goodness, what a right hand. Puts the body there. Oh, it landed. He heard it. Oh, big left hook there. Big shot on the feet. What's that? Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let it off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Circling to his right. So now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Very fast, Nicky. Final seconds here. Oh. Round two is next. Oh. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene.
All right, here we go with round two. Oh, nicely done to block the strike and counter with the jab. That was a big check. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants that. Even just... Oh, again. He went higher with that one. Oh. Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the team. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Oh, blood dripping now from the lip. Beautiful diving strike. Right there. Right there. Elbow attack to the body now. Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from doing this kick over and over again. Two minutes here to go in round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's it. Oh. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Oh, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete. I know you enjoyed the first for this lightweight fight. All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Big power shot there. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. There's his jab. Nice combination on the feet, and now works it to a takedown. Oh, nice. Both fighters get up now. Do not back up. Circling to his right. Good punch, Lance. Back to the clinch. Look at that hand on his head. Lands with the lead, right? Leg kick lands. Another leg kick lands. Now touches him with the left. Nice uppercut on the inside there. He's hurt. He's hurt. Well, 
Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him and hurt him bad. He could find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he has to try to find that shot again. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the short side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Ooh, big shot land. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single call. Good stick. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Little judo throw there to take him down. High praise, I would think, from the Olympian DC. Nice and done. I mean, it was beautiful. The way that he stepped across, got his hips, and started driving into his opponent. What a phenomenal technique. Great position. Great knowledge of knowing how to manipulate someone's body. Oh. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Takedown. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Takedown defense holds up. Oh. Round two is next. All right, so there's the horn. It's amazing to think we got here, given how many times he rocked his opponent there in the previous round. Almost looked like a glorified sparring session, given how dominant he was. Yeah, it just looked like one guy that was much better than the other guy. He was hurting him every time he landed. And it's a testament to his ability and his accuracy in the stand-up. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. Oh, and that punch elicited a reaction from the crowd. Nice defense there, huge block. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Nice body kick there. Pretty interesting to see him mixing it up with the kicks here. Some calf kicks and now attacking the thigh. Just throwing a traditional leg kick. The traditional leg kick was a little higher. Everybody wants to talk about that calf kick right now. It's still a lot. Oh! This is big. That's big. Oh! Leading now. Nasty cut on his nose. Back and forth we go. Touched him with the strike there. Just over three minutes to go. There it is again. Look at that. Body shot. Back to the jab now. No good. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. You know, when guys start to throw kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking effect. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, massive kick to the body. 90 seconds now to go in our second round. Takedown defense holds up. He lands a switch knee. I'm not even sure what I'm watching right now. He doesn't seem to respect those high leg kicks whatsoever, despite the obvious visible damage we now see. And, and you can see it early, John. Very early you saw that he was almost dismissive of that attack. But I believe that now we're getting to a point where if he doesn't address it, he's going to get finished with leg kicks. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. Lands a quick jab. 
Pretty good strike there, but not a ton of meat on the bone. Kind of looks like me at the Boca Raton boxing this one. He's used everything he could early in the fight, and now he's just in survival. All right, single collar tie now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, trying to pass here. Let's go to Teixeira, might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. Third round on the way. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Oh, nice takedown defense. Immediately gets the underhook. And now some separation. Lock that punch. And they get to the clinch. Guys, look for him to find an option. He's got multiple. He's got takedowns. He's got slams. He's got throws. He's got all his weapons available to him. Look for him to advance to the next position. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Under three minutes, now to go in the fight. Oh, you gotta like the upward here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Nice job keeping busy fighting off of his back. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Big ground and pound. Staying offensive off of his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. He passes the half guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Big shot to the head. Final seconds of the fight. Leading from his cheek now. Stuffs the tape to and that is how you end a fight. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Super! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Trying his 
established the jab early on here. Oh, solid kick right there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Well, the pleasant way to put it is that the fighters are respecting each other, feeling each other out, and managing risk, but really not much in terms of action. Oh, so they got to get going. I understand that when people are fresh, they're very scary. But you cannot be this cautious. Fighter lands a kick down, a pretty good one at that. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive these over and over. You gotta be careful here, you gotta move. What a kick, that will end. As he presses forward with the combination there, Strike lands cleanly there, champ. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body. It makes it up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now. He's starting to show itself. Ooh, he it up a couple. Just missed with the leg kick. Well, the calf kick has effectively changed the game, and I'm not sure he wants to take too many more of those. Well, you might consider switching stances or something to try to eliminate that attack from coming in his direction. Oh, good block there. Across the 30-second mark in our opening round. And that one certainly found the target. Final seconds of round one. Oh, oh so there's the horn signaling the end of the round. Thankfully for him, that'll keep him in the fight. Knocked down near the end of the round. Saved by the bell, ladies and gentlemen. You got locked that last round, but you're fine. This round, let's get on your bicycle. Use the optimal. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, round two. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. He blocks the shot. Punches and bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Right land. Oh. Ooh, nice leg kick. Oh, he's going to the gym. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Oh, back and forth we go. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Looking to land the leg kick now. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Able to check that kick as well. 
And we're... Oh, no! Oh, no! Like that! And back like to that! his feet. the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here. And you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him. But the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. But he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning. And you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here with Fiki and Gage. And really spring it there with a couple big strikes. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Right on the button. Over and over. Same story. Punch after punch to the head. Oh, you hurt him again, bro. Back to the feet now. Nice body shot. Oh, and he lands again. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, how about that reversal by him there? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Wow, all things considered, pretty good shot from bottom position. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Now, this is a position you don't see every day. They're in the north-south position now on the ground. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got, you got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. You got to be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. 
really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Ooh, to punch it up, but he got out. What a great job attacking the lock, rolling to your back, giving up the mouth. He chose a much worse position over giving up that submission. Oh, come on, that's gotta be it. That'll do it! Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight as he can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. We now go to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, Hazardous! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of the take for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. the left hand. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, man, I can barely get the Fight Clock sponsor out. These gentlemen are going at it. They are here to fight tonight. I cannot wait for this fight to continue. Oh, big left hand. Big right hand. Oh, yes. Now we're going. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Push kick there to the body. Oh, counters with a straight right hand. Now we're we'll keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. To the body, and it lands. Just missed with the left there. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. And now that jab starting to get established. Some real power shots here. Back to his feet. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh! Rips the body there. Oh! Get right here. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of it. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Straight left counter finds the target. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Third again. 30 seconds now to go in round one. It's a pretty good jab. 15 seconds. Back to the feet now. Oh, big shots getting through. We're going at it now. Oh, Archer, there's the horn at the end of the round. Thankfully for him, he will live to see another round. You saw him get knocked down near the end of the round. If there were 10 more seconds, that likely would have been the end of his night. Keep moving your feet, cut those angles, and let's change it up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene.
Second round here. Oh, inside kick. Huge elbow there. Oh, nice kick. Well, without much resistance, he continues to find a home for that jab, much like he did in the previous round. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Just got hurt again. Oh, right hand. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. He should be focused on getting to that cut. Making it. Done to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like. Oh! He did a great job of blocking that punch. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, nice job defensively to get the... All right, so the referee has called a halt to the action here, likely to have the doctor come in and look at the swelling around that eye. Not good, DC. You cannot allow these fighters to dictate and determine whether or not they can go. When you have this type of swelling, you got to take a close look to see if the guy can compete. Looks as though the doctor is going to allow the fight to continue for the athlete. May want to raise the guard a little bit. He's got to raise the guard. He's got to take some chances because he's very limited and what he can do right now with that much swelling. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely, and I'm just as excited. Oh, oh, that'll do it! Oh, my goodness. No judges needed this time around. Oh, boy. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, nine seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, Ben Buren! Tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Cadelia. Oh, he didn't like that one. <laughs> Looks as though that kick to the body got through. Oh, he just hurt. Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. There, he is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot. I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> oh, nice right in. Checks the leg kick. Hey. 
With that punch, no good. Just over two minutes to go. Nice straight right lands. Nice jab. was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 20 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Godella! Now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Nevada, we are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Oh, nice jab to the dome by Murphy. And the left kick there with conviction. Oh, good head movement there, nice slip. All right, so about a minute into this one, and not much in terms of action, DC. I don't know if you need to use the restroom, but it might be a good time. That thud on the table, that was me falling asleep. I'm sorry, John. I got to wake up. Guys, get going. Single leg takedown is good. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow himself to get so Beautiful body kick. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So you get a guy hurt, you got to fight him. And back to his feet. Big knee to the body. Got to land it clean. Big knee. Oh, another big knee. as they pull apart. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Murphy gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Quick jab. job to get the takedown late in the round. He is about as conditioned as it gets. He's not looking at the clock necessarily. He's not running clock all offense all the time. He knew he was going to wrestle and he knew he had to wrestle early and often. And right now, this situation is often because he's, he's been attempting takedowns over and over again. He finally gets one as we get to the end of the round. Now this round, we want to put him away.
Second round underway. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice block there. Position, the underhook is going to be very important. Whoever controls the underhook is in control of this position. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting. Ooh! You heard him again. Body shot. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Big ground and pop. Murphy getting worked to the body now by that elbow. He didn't seem to see that one coming. Changes the position. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he cut on the eye from that. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. Looking for the guillotine lock right now, and it looks like it's in. He's done a great job of securing it, but now he's got a set and he wants to finish the fight. Let's get to Bruce Buffer. He has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Murphy. And there is the man of the moment. In Finding every opening that is presented to him. 
right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Oh, and he killed him there with a beautiful straight right hand. All right, now they separate. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Good punch, man. Back and forth we go. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. They talk. Oh. Oh. Close, he throws, he lands. Oh, another nice combination there. Not sure if it was the three-piece and a soda or what it was, but he is in a flow state here. Oh, he is moving and grooving tonight. He's feeling good. But look at the footwork. Look at the fading of the shoulder. And then when he starts, right, he may not go right away. But when he goes, it's going to be an extended combination. Watch for him to try to really set down the last punch to end this fight. Oh, Nice. Nicely done. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, hurt. Whiffed on the uppercut there. Seconds here of round one. Takedown defense holds up. Now he gets a more dominant position on the other one. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. All right, there's the horn and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, here we go with round two. He just landed a nice left hook there, I, I feel. And there's a takedown attempt. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg too. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Touched him with the strike there. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned. Oh! He landed some nasty strikes. He's got to start throwing down. Ooh. Nice leg kick. And he switches his stance yet again. hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Investing in the body with the kick there. All right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Back to Orthodox. On the shot. There you go, single leg. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Fighter trying to pass here. Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Let's go. Gotta be careful here. And he is back up to his feet. 90 seconds now to go in round two. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has.
has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Big elbow there, Lance. 20 seconds left. Whiffs on the straight right hand. And again, shoots for a takedown. Again, takedown stuff. Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. And the horn sounds on round two. Oh, blood is dripping from his lip. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Third round underway. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh! 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 oh flying knee to the head! Oh! These things are going crazy! There it is again. Look at that. Oh! Well, DC kind of just played with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this battle. Now he's back up. Tries to mix in a takedown here. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not... tonight i'm not sure what would top it one of the best knockouts we've seen all year in a very long time i have not seen someone look this good he promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at two minutes, 34 seconds of the third round. Declare the winner by knockout, Rodriguez. Well, we congratulate him on this highly time. anticipated welterweight fight. with the left hand and lands flush. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him... Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.
All right, let's get to the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 19 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, T. setting and seemingly better than ever, this number one contender in the women's flyweight division is ready to dethrone the champion. A lot of people believe she's going to get the job done. Yeah, a lot of people believe it because they see in her performances how good she is, how talented she is, how confident she is. She has done everything to make sure that she does not mess up or lose out on this second chance. She's done this before. It took a lot to get back. Tonight, she intends to deliver and become the champion. Perhaps got to be mindful of an adrenaline dump. She gave so much to the media and fans all week. I know she's fired up. Got to manage that energy and fans to be fired up. Shevchenko put together such an amazing legacy in the UFC women's flyweight division. I never thought I'd see another champion close that gap, and yet here we are with this dominant champion defending her title yet again tonight. Just greatness. That is what she is. She is greatness in the truest sense because she goes out there every time to build on her legacy. She is not out here just fighting. She is fighting with the intent to be considered one of the greatest of all time. She is the champion of the world, and she plans to stay that way. And when you're this good, people start talking about belts in second divisions. She wants to stay at flyweight. She wants to chase further greatness, and another golden opportunity in front of the champion tonight. Let's get to the tail of the tape for this flyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Shotgun. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world. Cecilia! All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. All right, here we go. Can't wait to see how it plays out. UFC women's flyweight title fight. This should be good. That's a big strike right there. Back to the feet. to watch. Huge kick to the body. Oh, oh man. Oh. Man, she's hurt her opponent several times in this round. We acknowledge the durability on the other side, but how about just getting aggressive and finishing this fight? You know, she doesn't take many chances inside the octagon. Right now is a time where she should take chances. She should be going forward putting a lot of activity out there trying to end her opponent's night. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Well, the damage starting to add up, bleeding from her cheek now. Oh, she caught the kick. Nice job to land the straight punch there. So you thought maybe she'd go for the takedown after catching the leg. Oh! 
Back to the feet now. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without. Oh! And there it is! Oh my goodness! All right, so she gets the flush knockout here tonight. And you got to think this is going to lead to a lot of big fights the rest of the way this year. Big opportunities are presented after you have a performance like this. She did an amazing job and got a massive knockout victory. We set it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 23 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Cecilia! championship fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Formiga. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, 
defending undisputed UFC women's back and weight champion of the world, the Ghost. All right, here we go with this championship fight. Will we crown a new UFC women's bantamweight champion tonight? Let's find out. <laughs> So she gets the flush knockout here tonight, and you got to think this is going to lead to a lot of big fights the rest of the way this year. Big opportunities are presented after you have a performance like this. She did an amazing job and got a massive knockout victory. We said it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, the Ghost. Some would argue this is the deepest division in the UFC right now. 145 pounds, a lot of killers at the top. This man has emerged out of the pack and gets his much-deserved title shot in time. From the moment he got to the UFC, he told us we were viewing someone that could make an impact, a future champion that will remind us of the great featherweight champion Max Holloway, Jose Aldo Jr. He said, I am special. I will be a champion one day tonight. Gets the opportunity to let's see if he can cash in. Now it appeared as though the weight cut was a little bit difficult. He did not want to hear that noise, but that is behind him. And we'll see how it goes for him here on Saturday night. featherweight division is a hard one to hold down consistently, but this man has done it. He's the undisputed champion, and his latest title defense comes here tonight. He seems to be getting better. You, you think that when a guy becomes the champion, he may rest on his laurels. He may start to take a look at his work and smile. Right. Not this guy. This guy is doing more now. He seems more motivated to continue to build on the legacy that he's already created. He's a great champion, and tonight he intends to keep that belt. And he's never sitting on a lead, he's never playing with his food, he's always focused, and now the champion has his sights set on this very worthy challenger here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. 
Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Evans Smith. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. Oh, defense into offense there as he blocks the strike and counters with a perfect jab. Just out of range with the big right hand. And that one certainly found the target. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you're worse than watching the film on this It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. So back and forth we go. Throwing that jab, no good. Wow, another nice combination there. He's got the flow state going tonight. Oh, he's in rhythm, John. It's like... The music's playing in his head, and he is just salsa dancing all up on his opponent's face. I mean, a jab, right hand, uppercut. Everything he throws lands and lands with vicious intent. Oh, as good a counter striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. When he gets close and he throws, he lands. Slams the inside leg kick there. Trading huge shots. Let's see. Nice leg kick. Under two minutes to go in the round. Pretty good position here with a single collar in the clinch. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, he did a great job of rotating it into an underhook. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Oh, nice combination of elbows there by Evan Smith. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. Oh. Round two next. Stop! 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 Take a deep breath and recover. This next round, we really want to focus on ground control. You have to set up your takedown. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Round two here. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, nice. Nice. Collar tie here in the clinch. to the single collar ties. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Oh, he 
tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Evan Smith. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. And again, right back to the well with the body. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Straight punch. Here's the... striking with. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. 90 seconds now to go in round two. Oh, good block there. Nice. Nicely done. Right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Less than a minute now to go in round two. Nice jab. Takedown defense is there. All right, well, the strike lands there, so he did hit the desired target, but it almost looked like slow motion to me. Yeah, he's moving in slow motion. He's throwing everything at his opponent, and he couldn't get him out of there. Now it's just a matter of trying to survive and not get knocked out himself. Evan Smith knows his bleeding now. Yes, yeah. looks as though he yeah. got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Round three of a possible five. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who will hold out. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continue. Oh! Oh, big left hook there. Oh, oh, right here. Oh. Oh, my goodness. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritize the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. The official decision is it. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at one minute, 15 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world.
this number one welterweight contender has found his way back to a title fight. A lot of people didn't think he would get there, and he's made a career of proving doubters wrong. You know, he carries a chip on his shoulder. You tell this man that he can't do something, right? He will make it a point to get that done. He said from the moment he walked out of the octagon last time and didn't win the belt, that I will be back. Many smirked at him. Many laughed. But his inner circle believed that it was only a matter of time before their guy got another chance, and when he got here, he would get the job done. Now, some would argue he wasn't ready the first time around. I think that's probably a little bit too simplistic, but there's no denying. He has rounded out his game. He has evolved. He's maximized the developmental time, and a lot of people believe he will have a new champion by the time. division has been among the promotion strongest and that is certainly the case here as we get our look at the undisputed UFC welterweight champion as he gets ready to defend the title. The welterweight champion of the world. He's a star. The guy is one of the best pound pound fighters in the world and he carries himself in that manner. You can watch this guy from his approach to the media to his appearances. He does everything right. He's the champ for a reason. It all boils down to who he is and how he approaches everything from the media to the fight camp. And as commentators, we like heat, we like friction. We definitely have some of that on our welterweight championship matchup. Here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the king! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, the problem! Go. Will we crown a new UFC welterweight champion tonight? It is time to find out. Just misses with the left hook. I mean, he's cutting down the size with this beautiful leg kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the island. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect him. Oh, slips to avoid the right. He missed with that jab attempt there. Well, it looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Slips to avoid that left. Three minutes now to go in this one. Nice kick. Yep. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. That punch, no good. Nice level change for the body shot. Well, missed on that one. Back and 
fourth we go. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice punch, man. He's got some hands, man. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Beautiful. Keep your hands up. And follows up with another one. Slips the ball. Now he's back up. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Yeah, left hook found its target. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Oh, oh man. man. That'll do it! Oh, my God! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So, back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 41 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC was the white champion of the world, the Pablo. So the celebration is